Hey everyone. What's up guys, unofficial MCU here. Hope you're all doing well and in today's video we have more of an update into the regards of Deadpool and Wolverine's release to the Disney Plus streamer. We of course are going to go ahead and we're going to hop right on into it, break it all down for you guys with everything that we know and everything that we're anticipating right now. Before we do though, however, grab that subscribe button if you haven't already, as we're discussing all types of Marvel related news, leaks, rumors, theories, and breakdowns here on the channel. So, if you guys are into any of that, go ahead and grab that subscribe button today. Also, be sure to hit that little notification bell right next to it to be notified for when we have new videos dropping here on the channel almost on the daily. There is a lot of Marvel news to keep up with. It's exactly why we're here, is to keep you guys updated with everything, not just that, but also break it down for you guys. As always, I really appreciate all of the support. Support. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be taking a quick read from the Direct's article as an overall garnering source. I'll have their article linked in the description down below for you guys to check out there as well. Disney Plus omits Deadpool and Wolverine's streaming debut from November of this year in its schedule as it was being anticipated or expected to be released to the Disney Plus streamer for you to be able to watch it from the comfort of your home here in the next coming couple of weeks, presumably sometime around November. That no longer seems to be the case as of to a recent schedule change with Marvel Studios and Disney Plus. So fans are still eagerly awaiting to stream Deadpool and Wolverine on Disney Plus from the comfort of their home, and a fresh update could suggest its release is actually far from imp imminent. Deadpool and Wolverine has slashed and clawed its way into theaters in July of this year as a box office sensation, grossing over $1.3 billion and breaking many records, especially for a Marvel Marvel R-rated movie. It really was setting the bar quite high, especially for with what the MCU plans to do in the future of their theatrical slate here as well. Not just that, but it was the only Marvel movie or to be a part of the MCU to actually release this year. Of course, there are the Sony Universe Marvel movies such as Madam Web, which released at the beginning of this year. We don't talk about that. Venom 3 recently just released uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, actually this week at the time of recording and publishing this video, and then sometime in December, Craven the Hunter will also be releasing. But those movies aren't technically a part of the MCU, they're all a part of the Sonyverse. The movie had recently began its home release tenure, Deadpool and Wolverine, after coming to digital on October 1st at the beginning of this month, before becoming available on Blu-ray, DVD, and 4K Ultra HD just this past week uh, on October 22nd. And so from there, after having its physical releases, uh, it's kind of being anticipated that it will be ready to release here in the next coming couple of weeks, sometime around November. But as I had mentioned, that no longer seems to be the case, as Deadpool and Wolverine Marine gets a kind of disappointing Disney Plus release update. An official press release from Disney Plus had revealed the streaming service's plans had released a schedule for November of 2024 with one unfortunate absentee in Marvel Studios' latest blockbuster, Deadpool and Wolverine. Recent MCU movies such as The Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 and Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania all came to Disney Plus 89 or 90 days after their theatrical release and were far beyond that now for Deadpool and Wolverine, crossing over the 100-day mark, actually. As Deadpool and Wolverine will soon cross that milestone on Wednesday, October 23rd, at the time of recording and publishing this video has already done so, the R-rated event will seemingly break Marvel Studios' record for the longest theatrical two-streaming release window post-Disney Plus's launch, uh, you know, ever for any Marvel movie. And as I had mentioned, it's one of those things that kind of makes sense. Deadpool and Wolverine was the only MCU theatrical release. They aren't really competing like with any of their other IPs or any of their other projects, essentially. They're able to kind of run this one into the ground, if that makes sense, milk it out for a little bit longer. It's kind of crazy to, to know and think that Deadpool and Wolverine had released over the summer, all the way back in July, and my local theater is actually still showing it, and it's pretty much November now, so that's pretty crazy to have that long of a theatrical run. It's one thing for them to not have it you know, available for a home release or like on the Disney Plus streamer or not being able to have the digital version or the physical version like the DVD essentially, but the fact that it's still in theaters is really what blows my mind. Deadpool 3 is already set to make history in one way for Disney Plus as it will mark the first R-rated movie distributed by Disney to stream to the platform. Of course, there are other Marvel movies such as Logan or the previous Deadpool movies, but those were not distributed under Disney, much rather Fox 
20th century. Disney Plus had also recently updated its Deadpool and Wolverine page with fresh technical spec info that we had recently talked about here on the channel, including various video and audio formats, uh, perhaps suggesting the streamer is preparing uh, before the behind the scenes for nearing its release there as well, giving some little updates here and there, uh, you know, tweaking things before it is ready to hit the Disney Plus streamer. While Deadpool and Wolverine was absent from the streamer's November release schedule, Disney Plus has been known to update these in the past after making further announcements, meaning that it's never one of those things to be ruled out. Like, they could just very well update it the first week of November, and then it would be releasing like two weeks later, still in November, essentially, on the Disney Plus streamer, pretty much. But I wouldn't hold your breath on that. And so, this year all being said, when are we actually anticipating for Deadpool and Wolverine to release to the Disney Plus streamer? Well, as discussed earlier, Earlier, recent Marvel Studios blockbusters have come to Disney Plus around 89 days after releasing in theaters, and Mark, Deadpool, and Wolverine will cross on that October 23rd with no streaming debut still in sight. The streaming delay for Deadpool 3 is likely a result of its impressive box office performance, grossing over $1.3 billion worldwide and becoming the highest grossing R-rated movie of all time after surpassing Joker. Perhaps the most likely option is to see Marvel Studios' latest movie come to the Disney Plus streamer in late November to be enjoyed over Thanksgiving. A lot of people are on break then from work or school as Disney Plus tends to release new movies on Wednesdays as well. This could see Deadpool and Wolverine begin streaming on Wednesday, November 27th is probably a very likely outcome. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Of course, this has been Unofficial MCU. Let me know all of your thoughts and opinions in the comments down below. Different theories as well, I'm all ears. Let's discuss, I love to hear what you guys are all thinking. Leave a like on today's video as it really does help out the channel, I really appreciate it. Stick around here on the channel, Unofficial MCU, by hitting that subscribe button and notification bell to be notified for when we have new videos dropping here on the channel, almost on the daily. There's a lot of Marvel news and craziness that has been going on that's exactly why we're here is to keep you guys all updated on all of it and explain it all also check out our merch shop linked in the description down below or to the channel also use codes team iron man or team cap in all caps depending on what team you are a part of to get 10 percent off of your order i'll be updating and dropping new designs on a regular basis so make sure you check it out it can make a perfect gift for someone else or even for yourself with whatever way you support the channel i really deeply do appreciate it whether it's simply watching today's video or purchasing one of our products, thank you guys so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Have a great one. Remember, with great power comes great responsibility. Peace out. See you, chump.